department the dst is what uh, is the question based on what is the major clue in this question here to help you answer this question here the major clue here is there is increased concentration of lh fsh testosterone and even dihydrotestosterone there is increased dihydrotestosterone so remember that in a male the active form of testosterone is dihydrotestosterone and that is what is required for the development of the external genitalia so if the dihydrotestosterone is not able to act then it will lead to the female external genitalia even if there is testis in a male so let us have a look at this options one by one decreased 21 alpha hydroxylase activity we need this in congenital adrenal hyperplasia ka most common cause hai i hope you remember the mnemonic here 21 that is one at one's place one at one's place basically is related to virilization in a female child we will see virilization in a female child that is the most common history there in a male child it's going to be precocious puberty if there is decreased 5 alpha reductase what does 5 alpha reductase do it converts testosterone to dihydrotestosterone so this will be defective if this is defective the dihydrotestosterone levels will be less and not increased unlike this question so this is also out Failure of testis to secrete the anti-mullerian hormone. So, testis generally secretes anti-mullerian hormone so that the mullerian duct, the female tract does not develop. The uterus does not develop, right? What are we seeing here? There is ultrasonography, there is no uterus or fallopian tubes. That means the anti-mullerian hormone was present and that is why there is no uterus here. If there is failure, there will be a small uterus will be present, which is not present here. So, even this is out, the answer is defective androgen receptor. This is like a resistance, right? When there is insulin resistance, the insulin levels increase. When there is a nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, kidney resistant to ADH, ADH levels increase. And when there is your uh, androgen resistance here, that is because the receptor is not responding the dihydrotestosterone levels will increase, right? So, very, very important, the increased dihydrotestosterone levels are present, but they are not able to act. Is your clue here for defective androgen receptor? And that is why, because the dihydrotestosterone is not able to act, remember, the male external genitalia will not develop. So, even if it's a male, the testis is there, but there will be ambiguous genitalia and that is why the question mentions that this is a girl because phenotypically externally it's a female genitalia that we see right so it's a female it's a girl there is bilateral inguinal hernias shallow vagina that ends blindly right and apart from that you see that the gonads are found during the repair of the hernia that means inguinal swelling it is undescended testis that they are talking about so there is testis which is present which is already given and the karyotype is 46 xy is this clear with everyone dwani kya nahi samjha so let's have a look at the snippet the disorders of sex development uh, 46 xx 46 xy and ovo testicular right when there is ovo and testis both together that is called as a true hermaphrodite Okay, that is what is a true hermaphrodite when you have over testis, ovary and testis both together. When it is 46XX, the ovaries are present but the external genitalia are virilized, very common cause, congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Okay, a girl with virilization, congenital adrenal hyperplasia. 46XY, that is testis but externally it is feminized. Right, the most common is the androgen insensitivity that is defective androgen receptor because the dihydrotestosterone is not able to act and therefore there are no male external genitalia. Right, so when you have a male with ambiguous genitalia, female genitalia external, androgen insensitivity. When you have a female with virilization, congenital adrenal hyperplasia is what you should be thinking about. Okay. Is this clear with everyone? 